very fast learner, obviously. They fake it to Clement, and the lefty Hornibit rolls out and makes a nice throw. And that's Troy Fumagalli, his number one weapon. In for a big game. And they get 28 on the first play. This is Clement. He gets the corner, hurdles a man, gets inside the Ohio State. Up with a number of interceptions. From the eye, it's Clement again, and a senior from Jersey. Second and seven. It's Jazz Peavy, the receiver in motion. He's got the corner. Peavy hit hard, knocked out of bounds. Bar. Part of the defensive plan. Warney Brook needs six, is pressured, and will go down. All kinds of moving and shifting pre-snap. They see it out all night. This is Clement, running left. Corey Clement has the corner, breaks a tackle, and get up down the sideline. Clement in the clear. The senior has waited all season for a run like that. By far, Wisconsin's biggest play, but he lost the ball at the end. He lost the ball, and Damon Webb running with it for Ohio State on the far sideline. Was he stripped before he went out? It's, obviously, they're going to take a close look at this to see if his shoulder was down or if he stepped out of bounds before the ball is out. Chris Worley chased him down and makes the strip as Clement tries to hold on. But that I ball think, is out, and then it's a matter of but I think it hit the out of sideline. Yeah. yeah, I think the ball yep. did come out before he went out of bounds, but it looked like it hit on the sideline. Ruling on the previous play as a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, Ohio State. They'll review Chris, that I, now. We could talk to Dave Kataya about this, but I... Johnson in position. These fans are relieved and thrilled to see the running game working early. More what they expect to see at Wisconsin. Clement. Gets a breather with that timeout and takes the target. Getting to the outside of the Ohio State defense. He fake it to Clement. Horny Brook looping it over the head and trying to come back and make the play was the full. That, that little sandwich could have been thrown better on third and seven from the pocket. Delivers a strike. Touchdown, PV. Played. A lot of guys are in unfamiliar territory. Big conference game on the road for the first time. Clement spins through the middle and another productive line not running with patience Not much room that time it'll set up third and short But when the guys up front who are very very young are, They need three Horny Brook Looked in the direction of Ogun Bwale who's their third down back, but he was well He's here keeping an eye on Clement and they handed to Peavy on the end around, and Jazz Peavy's in the clear. Cuts back out near midfield, two. This is Ogun Wale, and he's not really an off-tackle power back. What was a good one? You can see the look in the eyes of the Ohio State defenders, not what we're used to seeing. Ogun Wale, a short gain. It'll be third down. Tight end Fumagalli is in the backfield to the left of the quarterback. Morning, Brooke. Chased and sacked for a second time. Lost the ball. And able to fall back on it. Sam. 85, maybe? It's impressive if that's right. Play action on first down. Hardy <laughs> now flips it short. It's a screen here to Fumagalli. And the tight end lowers his head for a night. <laughs> Bonus questions. PB again on the end around. This play has worked three times for Wisconsin. This you expect to see. High formation handoff to Clement. He uses a stiff arm and is finally slammed down by Chris Worley. They're running the football. That's why they're giving him so many different looks. They pitch it to Clement this time. He was around that left side for a short game. It'll be also with one of the two Ohio State sacks so far. Morning break. Delivers. Strike for Magali. First down. Morning break. From the pocket, checks it down. Ogunbwale is hit hard. Picks up about four. Oh, it's his turn. Coaches love those guys, don't they? The grinders. Patience pays off. Tony Brook rolls out, and that time could not. Third down. 
Morning Brook steps up. Could have scrambled. Now takes a downfield shot and it's complete. Down at the 10 yard line. Fuma Lofted right in the perfect position. So Badgers handed to Clement, who's cut down very quickly, charging. Clement stutter steps. Goes for the corner and scores as a flag comes down. Morneybrook caught up in traffic and able to escape, but and his quarterback B on third and goal back at the 14. Morneybrook, long throw incomplete. Trying to find PV in at 57. 65 yards from the end zone. No timeouts to work with. And this time on the end around, it's PV breaking loose on the right side. Paul Chris says, hey, if it's working us to attack this Ohio State defense tonight. Sandbagging us yesterday. <laughs> Orny Brick from the pocket delivers far side. And coming back is Wheel Wright, the Columbus native, finally threatening again. Orny Brick delivers, and that's for Magali who makes the catch there. PV in motion again. They give it to him again. He gets around the corner again. All five of his carries have created first downs, and they do feed Clement. He cuts it and spins back, but uh, not teen away. Badgers on second and nine. Send Hornibrook back, and he puts it short. Screen. Clement has room. Clement makes a cut. Back inside the five-yard line. Back for Clement this season. The first went for negative yards. That went for 18. And Hornibrook from the pocket is hit as he throws and sails it. That was quick. Ogunbowale tries to muscle, but gets. Hornibrook fires far side for Ogunbowale, but it's incomplete. All to beat us. Can you stop our run? We feed Clement again. This is a guy that was very limited by both the Spartans and the Wolverines, but Clement. So stretch him wide, then take a deep shot down the middle. We'll look for that. In the meantime, Clement takes his way. Shows some more patience there. Gets close to back to becoming that again. They're just very, very young in that development. TV has it again. That time they were more ready for him as Malik Hooker. The Morning Brook on second and seven. Flips it short and it's dropped. It was off the hands of Eric. St I think the Buckeyes would pay attention to number 81 here on third down. Morning Brook is swarmed under and sacked. Off the edge was Jalen Holmes with his long enough to affect that throw by Barrett in the game's first turnover. Clement hit for a loss there. Many Buckeyes on his helmet yet. He'll get a bunch before he's done. Talented freshman. Play action. Horny Brook backpedaling and Fumagalli was very, very well. Need 11. Horny Brook pressured again. It's a screen dumped off and they are all over Ogunbowale. Jerome Baker, the Wisconsin offense. Honeybrook rolls out and delivers to the reliable jet. They get eight on first down. Here comes PV in motion again, but they feed Clement, who barrels forward for a first down at the 29. Balance. They need to stay on schedule on second and third. Another first down throw. Honeybrook lobs it out, intercepted. Coming up to make the pick was Gary and Conley. Who read the quarterback and closed in. And the Buckeyes back in business. First turnover for Wisconsin. Well, he, he because he is a touch passer, he floats the ball here. And he kind of times things up. This time he he put it, see how he puts it up in the air? What I don't think he, he didn't expect was Conley sitting there in zone. I think he was expecting man-to-man. -man, and Conley jumps the route. And I think he fooled the freshman quarterback as he gets hit right after he throws the ball by Michael Hill. So Conley, with his second interception of the season, the lead. You're talking with the line, you're talking with running backs, coaches, going over adjustments. Interesting approach. Move it up inside to try to get the quick hitter to the fullback. That guy's showing some pressure on second and seven. Hornibrook flips it off. It's a screen. They go back to Fumagalli, but he has been well covered after a ball player. Didn't play high school football till his junior year. On third down, Hornibrook for Peavy. Makes the catch into Ohio State territory inside the fourth. Six for six on third down. Most of them third and long. 
We got 36 on third and nine. Clement spins back. He could not game, and this offense really struggled, and that's when Houston lost his job. Clement breaking free, gets a block, and muscles out inside the 25. Three tonight. That time they bring Keevy in motion, but Clement busts up the middle, as you suggested. David threatening to reclaim the lead now inside the red zone. On second and two, Clement. And not escape. Lost a yard is sent. They snap it at two. Quarterback flips it off inside and they convert a tackle. So it's Ogun Buale in the eye formation. He's got it. He's not quite the physical runner that Clement is. Works hard for us and touch the ball tonight. And this is the first carry and Bradrick Shaw. He shows some power and some burst. Three tight ends. Behind all that beef, it's the fullback plowing in for a touchdown. Austin Ramish and the Badgers back. 3.57 to work with, plenty of time. Clement, stutter step. Well, he looks like a completely different. I mean, he, he has not had a lot of room to run the last couple games. Ogun Bwale. It's a little cut. And fights for a first down. Tight formation. They hand it to Ogunbowale, who gets a little crease, gives a stiff arm, cuts it back, and you see the elusiveness. That's more what he's known for. Eight yard gain to play in regulation. Clement is back in there. And he's got the first down into Ohio State territory. Clement again. Cuts it back. A flag comes in, and what would be. Steps up, has time, delivers across the middle. Peavy knocked down at the 50. Nice tackle by Malik Hooker. Rodgers get back eight yards. Yeah, again, Malik Hooker is one of the better safeties. You're going to watch. Watch how quickly he reacts to this, and watch the closing speed after he sees where the route is. Look how quickly he comes in and collapses down on that. But big yards there for Wisconsin. Again, they're trying to get into field goal range here as that clock gets closer to a minute. Winnie Brick down the sidelines, a risky throw, diving attempt, picked off again by Conley. His second interception tonight snuffs out the Wisconsin drive. And the young quarterback pays the price for that decision. This is a clinic on how to play man-to-man -man in college football. Watch how he trusts his eyes right now. He turns around. At that point, he's almost a wide receiver. Tremendous athletic ability to go up and make the catch, but it was him reading the eyes of the receiver, Wheelwright, getting his own head turned around, and then running stride for stride with Wheelwright. This is just exceptional. They're gonna take a close look to see if the ball touched the ground. It looked like his right elbow, right arm got underneath the ball. This is gonna stand as a pick. What an incredible, I know that all that, that good stuff you tell me about technique, but the catch is oh, yeah, just a crazy catch. Yeah. And Ohio State's had it. Dropped out. Tony Britt rolling away from the pressure and now flips it short, but behind Ogun Dwale must score the force double overtime. Clement, first down carry, hit immediately. No gain as Webb. Tony Brook straight back, flushed, fires far side, high ball caught, and it's Wheelwright the, in the eye formation, he's got it, but again, penetration, and no gains, and force double OT. Clement goes in motion, Horny Brook back, paddling back, paddling, and has to just throw it out of the end zone, third down coming up. Clement. Drag down for no gain. That was all game on the line. Horny Brook knocked down. Ohio State makes a defensive stand and survives in Madtown in overtime.